bell button. In this video, we are going to draw a signal flow graph from the block diagram. The given problem is draw a signal flow graph from the given block diagram. So this is the given block diagram. So in the first step, we have to mark the number of node points. So now this we can consider as this is input. Therefore, this is starting node 1. So now at this point, two branches are connecting. Therefore, we can consider this as 3. So in the summing point also, there are three branches. Two incoming branch, one outgoing branch. So this we can consider as 3. So now at this point also more than 2 branches connecting. Therefore, we can consider it as 4. So similarly, we can consider this as 5, this as 6, output is 7. So now here also more than 2 branches are coming. So this we can consider as 8. So now, so we can consider, so this is node 1. It means input. Input R of S. So now from 1 to 2. So now we can say it is a 2. From 1 to 2, there is no specific gain. Therefore, we can consider this. This is having unit gain. Unity gain. So now, next from 2 to 3, there is no specific gain. Therefore, we can consider this is a unity gain. Next from 3 to 4, this is 3, this is 4. In between, there is a gain. Its value is G1. Therefore, G1. Next, we see from 1 to 4, arrow marks are towards right. Therefore, arrow mark will be 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4. So now, from 4 to 5, there is a gain G3. So, 4 to 5, in between there is a gain that is G3. From 5 to 6, there is no specific gain. Therefore, we can say it is having unit gain or unity gain. From 6 to 7, there is no specific gain. So, this also we can say as unity gain. So, now 7th node is the output node CFS. So, apart from this straight line, so our forward path. So, we, next we have to consider the loops or parallel paths. So, loops it has to start and end at the same point. Parallel path, it has to separate and move towards next node. We see. This is node 4. From this, there are two branches. These two branches are separating and moving towards 4. And also these two gain are parallel. Therefore, it is a parallel path only. So now this parallel path is moving from 4 to 5. Therefore, there is a parallel path. It is moving from 4 to 5. Its gain is G2. Its gain is G2. But here minus. Therefore, we have to use this gain is minus G2. So now this part is over. So next we have to consider this part. It means there is a node 8. So this we can consider as node 8. From 6 to 8, we see it is a feedback because from 6 to it is coming and connecting towards 3 and towards 3 only. Therefore, its gain value is h1 but here plus therefore plus h1 only. Next, from 8, one more feedback that is going towards this 3 but it is a negative therefore here we have to use minus h2. Next, there is a EVC. These two are towards from 2 to next node therefore these two are parallel. Therefore, it is a parallel path only. That is from 2 to 8. It's parallel path. We see here there is a negative. Therefore, here we have to use minus G4. So, in this given block diagram, this, at this summing point there is a negative. So, here minus H2. So, okay. So, here minus, therefore here minus G4. Okay. Here also minus, therefore here we have to use minus G2. So this is the signal flow graph for this given block diagram.